All right, Shalom Rastafari. Um, we can almost say Shabbat Shalom because it's a Shabbat. In other words, the the end. We're coming to the end of the of of 2012 uh, um, Passover and unleavened bread, right? The memorial feast of unleavened bread. So this will be like the part two to this particular video. This is like almost like a special report, in a, in the sense it's a special report because many are following after Western, whitewashed, Gentile, black is white, white is black kind of faulty paradigm, right? And they are being led, right? They are being led to perdition, to destruction, spiritually, psychologically, and even physically, and in the physical realm, you could say financially, materially, health-wise. You know, it's a war against the Trinity, Right, it's a war, Babylon's war against Selassie. We could file this as well as everything else, basically, that's showing the half of the story that you haven't been told concerning Christ and the black Christ, the black Messiah. Some think that we're being racial. You know, some think that we're being racial when we say that, well, well, Jesus Christ is black. We're just being factual. It's just a fact of the matter. And, of course, they go to their own faulty facts. They still have been lied about so many things, and every day you see a vi oh, uh, uh, you know, now they find out another lie they've been lied to about, but still they don't get to the root of the matter, right, the root of the matter, and, and that's, the, that's the black my story, you know, the black our story, could he believe in the faulty paradigm. Now, along with that is the whole Easter Sunday 2013, something interesting that has been brought to our attention, and we bring this to your attention, Easter Sunday and April Fool's. Now, April Fool's Day, which is April 1st, and there's a whole historical history that deals with the, the Gregorian calendar, the papacy, and, 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 the, and the mystery Babylon, and seeking to change laws and times and Antichrist is all connected with that. Some of you all know that, that back story, and others that if you don't know it, then, then go and do some research on it. There's some good videos out there. Um, which are on the particular subject matter. I think one particular video was a video that we highlight. It's called uh, Babylon, the Great and Globalism, open parenthesis, New World Order, close parenthesis. In other words, if you want to look that up on the YouTubes. And that goes in, and we have a clip from it because they touch on the church history of Ethiopia and, and Abyssinia and how the African Christians were Sabbath worshipers and how Rome tried to hoodwink and bamboozle them and what they went through in that particular experience. Another half of the story that's not told in the white Western Gentile um, counterfeit Christianity, in other words. It basically is counterfeit Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Christ is Christ. Salvation is real. You understand? But you have to admit the truth. You have to have a love of the truth. In order to, those who have a love of the truth will find that truly Christ is black, right, or Ethiopian. Yeah, but definitely is opposite of what Romanism, the romantic so-called Caesar. You understand? Caesar's Christ or Rome's Christ. So now Rome says that their Christ is risen on Sunday because it's all about sun worship. Mm-hmm. It's all about the uh, the Petrus Romanus, um, Simon Magus, their Pater Peter, Chaldean, Babylonian worship. So a lot of Christians are believing. In fact, I spoke to my earthly um, mother, and um, you know she had church and everything for Easter Sunday and so forth. And so when I spoke to her. I noticed that there was a, you know, you expect that ones will be up on a day. Like this, but it was, you know, it's like, uh, 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 uh. and I know it's raining here in New York. It's overcast, probably chemtrails and everything else like that. But um, you would think that spiritually one would be up. But the reason why is because um, ones are beginning to recognize, even even in the uh, Western Christian Protestant traditions, which are all daughters of Babylon, that they've been lied to. This is why the word says, "Come out of her." My people come out of, of mystery Babylon, of, of, of secret confusion. And the secret confusion really connects with, with, with the spiritual level, right? Our spirituality and, and with the so-called Christian religion, 
So this is why we're doing this as as uh, Easter and April Fools. When right when is Christ really risen in this 2013? Now the Jewish right the so-called Jewish calendar right or the Jewish uh, holy calendar it gives us a very important and Christians really need to understand these things. Otherwise they are following after the whore or the whore of Babylon. You see, they're following after counterfeit Christianity, which is Romanism. Now, folks say, I ain't no Roman Catholic. I ain't no Catholic or whatever else like that. But yet the traditions of the Protestant churches or the so-called reformist churches all have their roots in the Western Gentile tradition, lost in translation tradition, from the Roman Catholic Church as a, as a, a reaction to Catholicism. You see what I'm saying? In the, in the Western Gentile tradition. Now, when we go to our Ethiopic and Tawahedo and the Hymenote, the faith that was once delivered to the saints, and we look to the East, we're going to a church and a, and a church, ancient church tradition and ancient church history, the church history of Ethiopia, that was never under the papal or the Romanist yoke. Remember, Yah, Jah would have his people, the saints, and that's what also then connects with the, um, the, the wound, the deadly wound of the beast, the Lateran Treaty, Mussolini, the fascist invasion, fascism, Wall Street, um, 1930, November 2nd, Haile Selassie, Lion of Judah, invasion of Ethiopia, the, the rise or the resurrection of this once lost but now found nation, the Beta Israel or Black Israel or the Black Hebrews, Ethiopian Hebrews, African Hebrews. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Amen. So let's touch on Christ is risen, all right? Christos, Mushia is risen. So, so regardless of whether one might have believed that today was Easter Sunday, and Easter is, 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 a, is a paganist uh, heathen, a Goyim influence that has like a termite um, weave this way in based on a faulty mistranslation of the King James Bible, you know, a lot of them would not want to throw Schofield under the pre-trib rapture bus, you know what I'm saying, but at least Schofield tells us that Babylon, who Babylon is, you know what I mean, and, and Rome admits that she's Babylon, so either you can get with the line of the tribe of Judah, or you are down, and really down with Satan and, and, and the whore, right, the whore of Babylon worshiping the image and the mark of the beast, all right? So the Feast of Yahweh are very important. The, the spring festivals, and then we have the fall festivals. We have seven, seven feasts of Yahweh, or what's called uh, in the translation Jehovah, right, from the Germanist, Martin Lutherist kind of influence. Verse 10 of Leviticus chapter 23 says, Speak to the children of Israel. So this applies to us as Ethiopians. When it says, speak to the children of Israel, this applies to us as Ethiopians. How? Amos 9, chapter 9, verse 7 will explain. And say to them, so we have to say to ourselves, when ye be come into the land which I give you. So are we in the land in which God, the true God of black people, the true God of Ethiopia, the true God of Israel has given us? Or are we in this land of our so-called captivity? You see, so we have to recognize what time it is based on the divine mind, not based on our own, you know, our own foolish, gentile, gentilized thoughts. But when you be coming to the land which I give you, and you shall reap the harvest thereof, then you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priests. And he shall wave the sheath before Yahweh, before Jah, to be accepted for you. On the morrow, after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. Right? Now, the thing that we understand when we begin to understand um, the first fruits, this is about first fruits. Now, Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Here's where we get the Black Friday 
Good Friday, and the only good N-word, niggers Christ, the Negro Christ. This is where that connection comes in. It occurs, what it says, it says right here, on the morrow, right, after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. Now, some teach that first fruits was the first day or the first day, which would be Ehud, right, first day, or in the Gentile Western world, they call it Sunday, right, on that Sunday. But now here, if we look at it, it would actually be Tuesday. If you look at it in that paradigm, it will be Tuesday, which according to the Jews is the end of the spring festival season, right, the spring festival season which means that if we are walking that straight in that narrow way that Yeshua HaMoshiach, that our black Lord and Savior has, has fulfilled for us, that would be the way of the Hebrews, right? That would be, or for lack of a better word, according to the Jewish, right, the Jewish calculation of time, right? And, and, and what makes this so very important is when we put together, well, who we are as a people, and don't be fooled by Babylon's April fools. So don't be no fool. Come out of Babylon, my people, before it's too late. Shalom, Rastafari, Shabbat Shalom, Senbet Salam.